the ability for the therapist to be comfortable holding space. Not everybody makes uh, naturally a good EMDR psychotherapist, okay? Um, and from my experience, you know, is having the opportunity to sit in on a, a lot of trainings and support that. Um, what I found is, is that, um, and we use the term, the therapist's ability to tolerate the client's affect. Fancy words, okay, but what does that mean? It means that when you're doing, you know, traumatic, when you're doing any kind of therapy, but particularly trauma-related therapy, it's traumatic material. Not everybody is comfortable sitting with that, the emotional, sensory experience of that. Not everybody has the, the, um, the ability to sit present, to be present with it. Okay, I think that requires on the part of the therapist their ability to sit with their own, their own emotions. Let's start with that. Okay. If they're pretty comfortable with that, they'll talk to you about that. And that's what we can call within a general you know, vernacular, holding space for another person, remaining neutral, and being able to be present and be really a container, a regulatory container for the client's experience. So the client knows you're there, knows that no matter what they express, you're not going to react to it with some kind of judgment. And you're going to remain a calm, neutral containment for that. That's really important, and that, that's an important factor in, in, in any therapeutic relationship, put it that way. But I think specifically so when dealing with uh, treating trauma.